So today we are practicing yoga for truthfulness or sadhya in the yamas. It's described as sadhya. And uh, we will be especially focusing on listening to the body because it's something that we do all the time, but it's actually pretty, well, I find it pretty difficult. Even though we listen, it might not always be as clear. So today we're going to come into poses that you have been before, but focus on different things. So we focus on the breath, but also specific body parts. It might be that we take the poses a little bit longer than normal, but it will still be a Hatha Vinyasa class. Okay. Any questions? No? All right. Then I'm going to start. You can come into child's pose. If you have a block, I do recommend grabbing one, a block or um, a book. If you have a blanket, it might be really comfortable as well, but it's not necessary. Bring the big toes together. Can you see me? Yeah. Knees to the outside of the mat, so your legs are in a V shape. And if you like, you can bring a book or the block between the legs. Now when I place it, it's right between the groin, so I'm almost sitting on top of it, but it might be that yours is more towards the front. So just find what feels right. Take your arms out long in front of you. Look up, find length in your spine. And on an exhale, come to release into child's pose. If you feel like the block is too much in your belly, you can bring it down a little bit. If it's super uncomfortable, you can take it away. And take a deep breath in through the nose. And a long breath out through the mouth. Establish a deep belly breath. Checking in with the body. Checking in with your breath. Just acknowledging how you feel. Try to calm the mind. And breathe deep, long, even breaths. If there's any thoughts coming up, to get you out of your practice. Just observe them and maybe try to visualize letting them go. Maybe imagine yourself writing the thoughts down like a to do list to come back to later. On your next inhale, lift your head up. Come onto your fingertips so your elbows are lifted too. And then walk your hands over in line with the right knee. Inhale, find length in the chest, length in the spine. And exhale, bring it down. Two more times. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. 
inhale. On your next exhale, release. Place the left hand or the left fingers on top of the right and take the right hand to your lower back. Maybe you can take it towards the waist or the inside of the left thigh and feel a stretch on the left side. Relax your head, your neck. But keep pushing through the left fingertips so you keep feeling the stretch on the left side body. Draw the right shoulder away from the ear and keep breathing. Take a deep breath in. On an exhale, release. Bring the hands next to each other and walk back to center, straight over to the left side. Hands in line with the knee. Find length in your spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, come down. Place the right hand on top of the left and the left hand towards the lower back or maybe the spine, the inside of the right thigh or your waist. Keep breathing. Keep pushing through the right fingertips and focus on the stretch that you feel in the side body. Relax your head, your neck. Do you notice the sensations? Take a deep breath in. On an exhale, come out. Walk your hands back to center. Place your hands on the mat. Spread the fingers wide and lift the upper body. Now come into all fours. So wrist underneath the shoulders, hips underneath the hip. Excuse me, knees <laughs> underneath the hips and slide the right leg to the outside of the mat. Keep the knee in line with the hip, your ankle in line with the knee, slide the left leg behind you, and if you like, you can bring the block right underneath the thigh. If you want, you can take the block away and come onto the mat. We're coming into a frog-like position, but just only with the right leg first. Excuse me, guys. The dog is going crazy here. So keep your knee in line with the hip and your ankle in line with the knee. Really pressing through the hip, pressing through the elbows, and find sphinx in the chest. Inhale, maybe look up. And exhale. If you like, you can slide your arms forward and release here, focusing on the stretch in the hip bone.
Stay aware of the sensation in your ankle, your knee. Keep it close to the floor. And keep your muscles engaged. Let's take one more breath. And when you're ready, bring your hands next to your chest. Lift up as you do in Cobra. And then walk your knees back to center. Come to all fours. Find Cat Cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift your head. And exhale, round the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. Exhale, round the spine. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Come back to center. Slide the left leg out to the side. Keep your knee in line with the hip, the ankle in line with the knee. Slide the right leg behind you and slowly bring yourself down. Come onto your elbows first and see how this feels here. If you use the block on your right side, also use it on your left, just to keep it balanced. If you don't need it, you can just bring yourself down here as well. Inhale, find sphinx in the chest, so really push through the elbows, maybe lift up. Opening the throat. Keep your elbows in line with the shoulders and stay strong here. If you like, on an exhale, you can bring yourself all the way down, slide the arms forward. Focus on the sensations. Keep both legs active. Trying to push the hips into the floor. The left knee in line with the hip. And the left ankle in line with the knee. Creating a square like position. Keep breathing. Let's say one more breath. And get ready. Place your hands next to your hips. Excuse me, next, next to your chest. Push into cobra and slowly lift up. Come back to all fours. If you have a blanket or anything underneath you, take it away. Come back to all fours and we're coming into downward dog but we're doing it very mindfully with a lot of attention to all of the body. So first place the hands on the mat and spread the fingers wide. Create a vacuum effect in the palms so the knuckles and the outside of the palm, all of the circle here is touching you can kind of put something in between the index and the thumb. When you're ready, plant your, your toes on the mat, sink your hips back a tiny bit, and when you're ready, lift your heels, keep your knees bent. From here, turn the elbows away from you so the upper arms are out to the side and the inside of the elbows facing your ears. When you're ready, lift yourself all the way up. And here, find movement. So bending the knees, walking your dog. 
Notice how you feel. Notice what your body is trying to tell you. Does it feel different? Do you feel strong? Do you feel tired, maybe weak? Whatever it is, don't judge it. Just observe, acknowledge the feelings or the sensations. When you're ready, come to stillness. And again, checking in with the body. We started with the fingertips on the mat, vacuum effect in the palms, shoulders away from the ears, inside of the elbows towards the ears, upper arms out, hips up high, and maybe your heels are touching the mat. You don't need to, you can keep your knees bent and lift the heels if you want. Three breaths, stay strong. On your next exhale, get ready. On an inhale, look forward, bend the knees and walk your hands towards the front of the mat. Find hip width distance, so there's two hands fitting in between the feet. Keep your knees bent a bit. And on an inhale, come to a half lift, easy lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms, mountain pose. Exhale, fold through center. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, mountain pose, take a breath. And here, find that hip width uh, distance again between the feet. So we're bringing two hands right in between. Then ground, ground down through the four corners of the feet. Bring the pelvis right underneath the shoulders. And some people will have to come forward a bit. Some will have to come backwards. So find what feels right in your body. We want to keep the hip bones right in line with the shoulders. Then bring the palms next to the thighs. Notice how you feel. Maybe roll the shoulders back a tiny bit so we get rid of the computer arm or computer shoulders, sluggish. Inhale. And exhale, lift your toes, see how grounded you are. You shouldn't lose your balance here now. Inhale. And exhale. And on an inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, fall down. Inhale, halfway lift your version this time. Exhale, fold. Place your hands on the mat, step the right foot back, come to a low lunge, drop the knee, arms up the toes. Inhale, come up, low lunge. Exhale, sink through the front knee, open the left, excuse me, the right hip. Inhale, lift. Think of that Tadasana, the mountain pose, your shoulders again in line with the hips. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, lift. And exhale, come forward. Frame the foot. Bring the left foot to the inside of the left, sorry, left hand into the inside of the left foot. And come into your variation of lizard pose. You can stay here with your back knee on the mat or tuck the toes and lift. If you lift your leg, Really stay strong so we're not hanging out here. The, the, the leg is almost.
almost like an extension of your back. Stay strong in the arms. And if you need a block underneath your hands, feel free to grab it. It might give you some support. Keep breathing. Relax your left toes. And focus on the stretch in the right leg and the opening in the left hip. Push through the hands. Stay strong in the, in the shoulders. And keep a micro bend in the knee so it's not an overextension. Breathe in. And exhale. On an inhale, lift the left arm up high. And exhale, bring it down. Hands on the mat, lower your back knee. Untuck the toes and come backwards into a Hanumanasana variation. So normally we've got the left foot right in front in line with the hip. Now it's to the outside of the left side of the mat. So it's facing the left corner. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders and inhale, find length. Exhale, come down. Inhale, find length. Exhale, come down. Inhale, length. And on your next exhale, maybe swing the right, the left hands around and relax here. Drop your head, relax your neck. Then keep your back knee in line with the hip, just like you do in your normal Hanumanasana. Focus on the sensations in the left leg. Keep your toes pointed upwards. Enjoy the stretch. And if you're not enjoying it, notice where your mind goes. One more breath. On your inhale, look up. Slowly lift. Bring the hands forward. Step onto that left foot. Tuck the toes. Lift the knee. And step back for plank pose. Inhale, reach forward. Shoulders over the wrists. Drop the knees, bend the elbows, keep them super close into the side body. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, cobra. Exhale, come down. Turn the toes, push into plank, and downward dog. Find the same downward dog as before. Fingertips are rooted into the mat, and the shoulders open and away from the ears. Sometimes you kind of want to create like a bigger shoulder area <laughs> as if you're broadening the shoulders. Whatever helps to visualize. Find something that's comfortable but strong. Just one breath here. And an inhale, look forward. And exhale, bend the right knee. Place the foot between the hands. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes, and lift up, half lunge, or low. Come forward, bend into the front knee, and inhale, lift. Think mountain pose, shoulders in line with the hips. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale. And inhale, come to center. Frame the front foot. Swing the right hand to the inside of the right foot. Right foot to the corner of the right, the right corner of the mat. And come into your variation of lizard. So you can keep your knee down, you can keep it lifted. If you need your block, or if you like your block, you can use it as well.
I'm not sure if I said this last week, but when I started practicing, I always thought, ah, oh, I don't need blocks. I'm super flexible. Why would I need to use them? But now that I'm doing my training, it's just really, really bringing so much more pleasure into the practice. So definitely recommend trying at least. Stay active here. Push through the right leg. Open the hip, focus on the stretch and the opening. And stay super active in your left leg. Keep the knee lifted, but not chilling. So it might be that your left leg feels very different than your right. Don't judge it, just observe, acknowledge your sensations. Stay active in the shoulders, active in the arms. Maybe lift the right toes. So we're not grabbing them onto the mats. Let's say one more breath. And when you're ready, lift the right arm all the way up. Find an open twist. And then your exhale, bring it down. Get rid of your block. Get ready. And push into plank. Inhale here. And find some awareness in your plank. Again, spread the fingers wide. Stay strong in the arms, strong in the shoulders. Notice where your hips are. Are your hips here waiting to get into cobra? Or are your hips super high? Whatever it is, it might be that you're compensating. So make sure that your neck is in line with the spine and your legs are extensions of your back. So we're not up high, we're not up hip, down here. It's all in one straight line. One more breath, keep breathing. Inhale. You know, your exhale, reach forward. Drop the knees and slide forward into plank. Ah, excuse me, into cobra. Come down, plank pose, and downward dog. Find your alignment. Shoulders away from the ears. The insides of the elbows towards the ears. Hands and fingers are strong. And your hips up high. Keep your knees bent if you need to. Lift your heels. Maybe bring them down. On your next inhale, look forward. Bend the knees. And this time you can step, step the feet to the hands. Maybe jump or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift all the way. And exhale, mountain pose. Let's come back to that awareness. Maybe step your feet out. Or this time, keep the feet together. Ground down the corners of the feet. So you want to create a little bit of an arch, but it might be if your feet come straight onto the mat. Become aware of it, become aware of the sensations. When you're ready, pelvis right underneath the shoulders, the shoulders away, open chest, palms next to your hips. And maybe you can imagine yourself as one of, I can't remember the name of those dolls, but that they hold on the top. So it's someone that lifts your head all the way up. The neck is an extension of the back. And we're standing straight, rooted, strong, grounded. Lift your toes. Notice the sensations. Two more breaths. 
Notice where the weight of the body goes. Is it shaking in between? Or are you standing straight? Is it evenly spread? Inhale. Exhale completely. And on your next inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Halfway, sink the hips back. Bring your weight to your heels. Lift the arms overhead, chair pose. We are coming back here. Remember these sensations now. Inhale. Then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, step the right foot back, straight into warrior one. Inhale, lift the arms. Your back foot's 45 degrees, front knee in line with the ankle. Inhale, lift. Then exhale, warrior two. Look forward, inhale, reach. Then exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale, back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg, reach forward, triangle pose. Grab your block if you need to. Inhale. Then exhale, come into an extension or side angle. Take the right arm overhead and let's stay here for a second. Ground through the back side of the right foot and the four corners of the left foot. Engage your thighs and feel the energy that might now run from your pinky toe to your pinky finger. Maybe bring the left hand to the outside of the left foot. Notice the difference. Maybe turn the left hand, excuse me, the right hand in so you can notice a heat or maybe even an electrical kind of sensation of energy. Inhale and exhale. Stay strong in the legs, strong in that left arm, strong in the right arm. Keep it lifted. And on your exhale, release. Beautiful, guys. Come onto the, the ball of the right foot. Lift the left arm all the way up. Inhale here. And exhale, frame the front foot. Step into plank. Reach forward. Engage your back. Exhale, drop the knees. Bend the elbows. Lift into Cobra and exhale back to Downward Dog. One breath. When you're ready, set the right foot between the hands. Straight into it, Warrior One. Find your alignment, your hips pointed forward, front knee in line with the ankle. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale, back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg, reach forward, triangle pose. Inhale, and exhale, bend through the front knee. And first, lift that left arm overhead. Maybe turn the hands in a little bit. Maybe take the right hand to the outside of the right foot. Notice the sensations. Keep that right knee in line with the ankle. Engage your back thigh. And push through the back of the left foot. Keep breathing. Notice the energy from your pinky toe all the way to your pinky finger. And 
notice if you're grabbing your toes and pushing the toes into the mat. Can you maybe relax and lift them up? Okay, breathe in long deep breaths. Stay active. Inhale. And on your exhale, release. Frame the front foot, come onto the toes. Inhale, lift the right arm. And on your exhale, frame the foot. Get ready, step into plank. Reach forward, drop the knees, bend the elbows. Lift into cobra and exhale, downward dog. Let's take three breaths. And if you need a little bit of a rest, come into child's pose. And now that we say downward dog is a resting pose, but it can actually require a lot of energy. So if you need to breathe or come back to your breath, don't be hard on yourself. We're here to listen to the body. Notice where your mind's going. What thoughts arise? And ask yourself if you're truly listening to your body. Or if there's maybe anything that you've been ignoring or you weren't aware of. We're going to repeat the same flow, but let's on from it now. To open the heart and learn to listen better. On your next inhale, look forward, bend the knees, step up or jump, feet between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, slide back, chair pose. Find your balance. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, mountain. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step the right foot back. Come into warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward, up and back. Exhale, back to warrior two. Straight and reach, triangle pose. Maybe take the right arm overhead. Notice the sensations here, the difference in the side body. Just one breath, keep strong. Push through your feet, active thighs. And on an exhale, sink through. Keep your right arm where it was. Maybe lift up a little bit so it's in one straight line. Take the right left arm over to the back side of the left foot. Inhale here. And exhale completely. Inhale. Exhale. Right hand next to the foot. Come on to the ball of your foot and lift the left arm up. Inhale here. And exhale, frame the front foot. 
Come back to your lizards. We did at the start of this practice. Stay active in your back leg. And breathe here. Notice the difference. Or maybe notice there's no difference. That's also possible. Inhale. And on your exhale, bring your hands together. Bend the back knee. Step the foot next to your hands. Yogic squat. Inhale, bring the knees towards the elbows. Elbows into the knees. Your shoulders again in line with the, the pelvis as much as possible. Keep breathing. Push the knees into the elbows. Elbows into the knees. Palms together. Shoulders low. Chest open. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Then exhale. Place the hands down. Come up into your forward fold. Drop the hands. Drop your upper back. Grab opposite elbows and find a sway from side to side. Keep your feet wide. Come to center, bend the knees, bring the belly to your thighs and exhale, straighten. Again, bend the knees, belly to your thighs, exhale, straighten. Last one, maybe come a little bit lower and exhale, straighten. Release the elbows, bring the feet together and come straight into your chair pose. Inhale. And exhale. Lift your toes. Inhale. And exhale. Release. Beautiful. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Lift up. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, bend the knees, lift up high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Place your hands on the mat. Step the opposite foot back. So I think I'm on the wrong side. So the left foot back. Just come back into your warrior one. And breathe. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward, come up and back. Come back to warrior two, straighten your front leg, come down, triangle. Inhale, exhale, take your arm overhead. Again, notice the energy. And often when I'm in these poses, it's not to say that you should feel the same because everybody is different, but I can feel this kind of tingling sensation or like an electrical shock kind of sensation. So notice what you feel. Notice what's going on. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale, and on your exhale, bend the front knee, come into your side angle. Keep the right hand to the outside of the right foot, stay active in the left leg, active in your thighs, and use your block if you need to. Notice that you're focusing on your legs. And the sensation in the side body. Don't make it any more difficult for yourself. Inhale. And exhale. Relax your toes. 
push through the corners of your feet. Inhale and exhale, come down. When you're ready, sway back. So the right foot is on the corner and you're onto the ball of the left foot. Lift the left arm, excuse me, the right arm up high. And on an exhale into your lizard. Your variation. Maybe grab your block. But always stay active in your back leg. You can drop your knee if you like. Keep breathing. Notice the difference. I just simply acknowledge what's going on. Inhale. On your exhale, get ready. Bring the hands together. Bend the back knee. And step to the front, yogic squat. Knee into the elbows, elbows into the knees. Shoulders in line with the hips, open chest, keep breathing, stay strong. <laughs> We're nearly there, guys. Inhale. And exhale, keep pushing. Don't just hang out. On your next inhale, get ready. And exhale, come forward. Release the hands, lift into your forward fold. You can keep your knee, excuse me, your feet wider this time. Keep the micro bends in your knees. Find a sway from side to side and keep your belly close to your thighs. If it feels impossible, find length and then fold from the hips. Notice the difference from the hips all the way to the back of your spine, your neck. Breathe in. And when you're ready, release your arms. Step back, your feet together. Come into chair pose one last time. Just creating some awareness here. Like very often, especially when we come towards the middle or the end of the practice, we want to come super low into our chair pose. But a chair pose like this is absolutely fine. So find a point that's comfortable. It's challenging enough, but it doesn't tire you out for the rest of the practice. Lift your arms when you're ready. Bring your shoulders down as much as possible. And sink into the heels. Lift your toes. If you need to, you can bring your hands in front of the heart and just breathe here. Keep your spine and your neck in one straight line so we're not hollowing the spine or coming into cat variation. Everything is strong and active. Inhale. And exhale, notice the sensations. Keep breathing. If you like, you can come lower. Two more breaths. Inhale. On your exhale, release. Well done, guys. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. 
Place your hands on the mat. Step the right foot back. Step the left foot back for plank. And straight up to downward dog. Find your alignment. And this time bring the left foot closer to the center of the mat. Lift the right leg up high. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Look underneath the right shoulder or the right armpit. Keep your left leg active and lift the hips even higher. Inhale. And exhale, twist open. Step the right foot behind. Lift the hips. Take the right arm overhead. Come into wild thing. Again, notice the sensations. You've got this long line of energy. What's going on? What do you feel? What is your body trying to tell you? Inhale. And exhale. Come on to the side of the left foot. Lift the right leg up. And come into... Ah, Prasistasana or side plank, you can bring the legs together as well. Inhale. And exhale, find your own variation. Keep your hips lifted. Stay strong in the left arm. One more breath. And on your exhale, come down, plank pose. Push straight into downward dog. Let's take a breath here. Again, find your alignment in your arms, your feet, your hands, and your shoulders. On your next inhale, lift the left leg up high. Bend the knee, open up. Look underneath the left armpit. Lift the hips even higher. Just one breath here. And when you're ready, with control, easy, come onto the side of your left foot. Bend your knees. Then lift the hips and come up. Into wild thing. Notice the sensations. Try to understand what the body is telling you. Keep breathing. And when you're ready, you can come into your variation of plank or side plank. Wherever you are, keep your hips up high and take your arm overhead. Either keep your leg lifted or just bring your feet together. One more breath. When you're ready, turn over slow and with control. Go into plank, downward dog. Bring the knees down and come into a wide legged child's pose. If you like, you can bring your block again, place it between the legs. Or maybe grab a blanket, whatever is most comfortable. You don't need to use any drop any props. You can very easily go without. These are just options. Now come back to your breath. Come back to your sensations.
really just taking a moment to notice what's going on, to be present, to quieten the mind. And listen to the body. When you're ready, walk your hands back to maybe your knees or your chest. Lift the upper body and slide your legs to one side. Come to sit on your bum. Take your legs out long. Maybe actually place the feet or the soles of the feet on the mat. Roll on your back. Take the knees into the chest. And hug the knees in. And give yourself a big hug, sway from side to side. Just arriving to come towards the end of the practice and give yourself some love and some rest to cool down and come back to yourself. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, hug the left knee into the chest, straighten the right, excuse me, the right knee into the chest, the left leg out long, lift the left leg and point the toes towards the ceiling and take some ankle circles and go the other way. Now grab that left toe and if you can't reach, grab your ankle. If you have a strap, you can grab your foot from behind. But we are pulling down, so don't, get, go, don't go too far. And then roll over to the right side. Stretch out through the left hip. Hold on to your foot or your ankle. And if you want, you can straighten the right leg. You can just bring it towards your... Bring the foot towards your thigh. Then take your head past the left shoulder. Find your variation of supine twist. And breathe. Inhale. And your exhale, turn back, bend the knee and come back to center. Opposite side. This time, left knee into the chest and the right leg straightens. Keep your toes pointing towards the ceiling and then take some circles with your ankle. So you're one way. And then the other. You will feel that one way feels more comfortable or easier than the other as well. When you're ready, grab your toe, your ankle, maybe your shin, and slowly with control, or if you have space, roll over to one side. Take your right arm out along in line with the shoulder and find your twist. Maybe straighten the left leg. Maybe bring it towards your thigh. Whatever is comfortable, remember it cooling down. Take it easy. Enjoy the twist and enjoy the stretch in the hip. Maybe even the groin.
take one more breath in. When you're ready, slowly roll back to center. Grab the soles of your feet and lift the feet into or up to the ceiling. Find a little sway, happy baby. And if you need any other variations before you get into Savasana, feel free to do so. Maybe you want to take a bridge pose. Maybe any other type of supine twist or Texas T. Listen to your body, do what you need. Now when you're ready, in your time, bring the legs out long and come to Savasana. Roll the shoulders underneath the body so you can really open the chest. And then relax your feet, let them drop to one side. Relax your hips your arms, and let the weight of the body just fall into the mat. Take a deep breath in, and exhale, sigh it out. Relax your forehead, your jaw, even your cheeks, all of your face muscles. Notice where your mind has drifted off to. Were you truly thinking of nothing? Were you quiet, still? Or is there something already occupying your mind? There was, don't judge yourself. It's absolutely normal. You're just creating this awareness. And listening to your mind, your body. It will help you to live a healthier and more balanced life in the end. When you're ready, bring some movement back into your fingertips and your toes. Sway your hips, your shoulders. And then roll over to one side into the fetal position. Go 
when you're ready. Push yourself back up to a seat. Lengthen the spine, shoulders in line with the hips. Thumbs up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. A long breath out. Thank yourself for taking the time to practice, for showing up, for listening, and working on your mental, physical, your emotional and spiritual health. Namaste.